Hey, what's up? Nasir Malik here. Welcome to another IoT tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be creating a LCD dashboard and we're going to be using Home Assistant uh, MQTT server and the controller Sonoff device. For this project, all the config files are available at the GitHub project. I will include the link in the video description below. You can access these files right here. So let's get started. We're going to log into Hasio from your PC and we need to modify a config file. To do that, we usually have to click on the Hasio on the left hand side uh, menu uh, option. And then from there, go to configurator and click on it and then go into open web UI uh, to access the uh, file explorer. So instead of doing that, I'm going to add a menu item right here on the left hand side that we can click on and go to the configuration file instead of going through HasIO and open web UI again and again since we're going to be editing a lot. To do that, we go into the configuration file and then we're going to add uh, a simple entry in there. So you replace the IP address to your HasIO Raspberry Pi IP address and title is configurator and you save it. So once you save it, you go to HasIO and uh, the system and restart the HasIO reboot. And once in reboot, you should see the menu item added on your left hand side. So let's log back, log back in and we should see configurator right here on the left hand side. So now we can click on it and go directly to the configuration uh, or file explorer in that case. So okay, so now we're going to show you how to add a very simple dashboard. So we click on HasIO and we go into the um, add-on store. We'll click on the top menu option and then we go in and look for App Demon 3 and we need to install this plugin. We click on it and we click install. So once it's installed, you should see a similar screen and the only thing you have to do here is to click start and then you just wait for it. And it's running now and now you can go and click on the open web UI link on the right hand side right there. And that should open up a dashboard. And by default, there is a hello. So you can click on it and uh, it's just a sample to see, you know, test dashboard to see if it's working. There's nothing there, so we need to go back and create our own dashboard at this point. So we're gonna go into, to create a new dashboard, we need to go into click on configurator menu options, go into explorer, click on the folder icon on top, and then go into the app daemon folder right here and click it. And then once you're inside the folder, you need to create a new file and you click on the add file icon and give it a name. I'm going to call it netmedias.dash. So you have to put that extension to create a new dashboard and then you click OK. And that's going to create a file for you in there. And then now you need to go and modify this file and you need to copy paste the sample uh, code in there and then you save it. So once it is saved, um, its uh, new dashboard is added. You can actually go and access it. All the widgets on the dashboard probably won't work. So you could go to HasIO and uh, App Demon uh, 3 and then click on the Open Web UI and you should see the NetMedias added there. So if you click on it, uh, you'll see the uh, dashboard has a bunch of widgets in it, but it's not configured yet. The so only thing you see is a time widget is working, but everything else is not working there. So we're going to go ahead and configure that. So first we need to configure the weather widget. To do that, we need to go to Dark Sky API and register an account with our email and give it a password and confirm password and click register and it will send a verification or confirmation email to your email account. You need to click on that link to verify it. Once it uh, confirms your email account, you'll be able to log into your account and retrieve a, a key, a secret key that we need to add it to our configuration file to uh, get the uh, weather information. Once you get your uh, secret key, go to HasIO configurator and uh, go into config file. I can't see it, 
uh, click on that folder icon and then click on configure YAML file and that should get loaded and once you're in that file look for an entry where it says sensor I believe it's um, right there a uh, platform YR so here you need to add a bunch of configuration just copy paste this configuration I will add that to the video description and here you see uh, platform dark sky and also you see the API key is there and it doesn't it just have a placeholder or variable but we're gonna paste the key into the uh, file so we need to go uh, click on that left hand side folder and click and look for secret configuration file and we need to click on it and load it and we need to copy paste that secret key that we got from the uh, website so click on the left hand side on top the folder icon and then go into secret configuration file once you click on it it will get loaded and then you can see that you need to copy paste your key in exactly same manner now if we look at our dashboard it should look like this um, I updated it um, some configuration settings and you can take a look at it next we're going to install a chromium browser on the second Raspberry Pi the one we're going to use as a, a console since I already have it installed it's not going to reinstall it so okay so I have um, uh, already used the LCD display before but I have another one this one that I'm gonna be uh, using and reviewing and I like uh, these because they're pretty easy to um, set up and install um, on the back side if you look at it um, two USB ports the standard USB ports and then two the micro USBs I believe and um, and then one HDMI uh, in input right here so it's pretty simple to hook up um, so like so and then take the your uh, HDMI cable and connect that here Actually, in the previous tutorial, you guys saw this, uh, the Raspberry Pi 3 setup where I installed um, uh, Home Assistant or HasIO on it. So this is turned on, it's running, and we did the initial configuration. If you missed that, please go back and watch the previous tutorial. And um, so this is running right here, and I also... Um, uh, use this uh, second Raspberry Pi and install the uh, Raspbian on it. So I'm going to use this as a, uh, a console frame or uh, I want to install a console on a home where I want to control all my devices and uh, check the status and stuff. And uh, this will be like uh, using as a server. So this is going to keep running on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this uh, LCD display to this Pi. And basically I will have uh, also another thing uh, connected to it right here and this is the bulb that we set it up in the previous uh, tutorial with the uh, sonar switch and we're going to control this so the way it is going to work is that uh, uh, this uh, Raspberry Pi is running has IO and uh, with the light MQTT server and uh, this Pi we're going to use as a console where we're going to connect the LCD display with this and then basically this device will be uh, uh, subscribing to the MQTT server here and then we can see the console here we can turn on and off this uh, device so I'm gonna just go ahead and plug this in hook up my HDMI cable here to this Pi and uh, hook up the USB cable here I'm gonna flip it over put it on the side and I'm going to power this up with the external power source so I'm gonna go ahead and launch chromium on it the browser already installed so I'm gonna go to the menu internet and also click on the chromium browser and it's going to launch that so I previously already accessed the dashboard so it's already putting it here so I'm gonna go ahead and launch that and I you can install the vir virtual keyboard on it uh, which I haven't done because I'm using VNC so I can always modify this since the IP address is changes uh, because it's a it's a dynamic IP so I can go ahead and change it to my VNC but uh, you guys can go ahead install the uh, uh, virtual keyboard on it so you can use it from here so since I'm still experimenting so I'm keep removing stuff and refreshing it 
So now this is what the dashboard looks like. I mean, we could put up more widgets on there, but this is a very simple dashboard. I'm already like working on the dimmer uh, light control, which uh, the implementation is there. I'm working on the hardware right now. Uh, this is the weather information, the time, and other stuff you want to put in. Uh, this is a demo light, so basically, uh, from the previous tutorial we have this hooked up and now I can go ahead and uh, click in here and then this light bulb is going to turn on and off. I'm going to press the button it's going to come on and you can see it's uh, lighting up the uh, green um, uh, the image showing that the device is on I can turn it off from here so my idea is I'm going to have these control panel uh, upstairs and downstairs where I can access all of my IOT stuff right here and it's gonna include temperature and uh, you know the turning on the devices or dimmers on status of the status of the garage door or devices that I want to monitor so this is really really nice you could actually do a full screen on this thing um, uh, and you could go to full screen like that and it says press uh, F11 to exit since there's no key virtual keyboard yet, so you probably can't do it. I, I need to figure out a simple way of actually minimizing the uh, this full screen uh, thing. I haven't found it. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. But you could just uh, go into the menu and then full screen, and it looks really nice. And actually, um, if you let it run, it would go into uh, the screen will black out. And if you touch the screen, you you can wake up the screen like that, so conserve the um, energy. So it's really, really nice, and I, I like it. This is a very basic uh, dashboard, but eventually I'm going to do a customized, a totally customized dashboard, uh, which will look much uh, different than this. But this is for people who are out there who want to play around with this thing. And uh, I'm experimenting, and I really like it. It's very nice. So let me try that again. Uh, it's just addicting. It's fun. So, and uh, you can also control this with Alexa, Google Home, or from your PC or for your, uh, your phone. And this dashboard is uh, accessible from all those devices. So let me just uh, uh, recap what we did. So in the previous uh, tutorial, we set up the uh, Home Assistant to HASIO on this. We configured it and we flashed the framework to this um, bulb and then this sewn off switch right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. And uh, and uh, um, and we control it that way. We control it with Alexa. But now we putting another uh, Raspberry Pi with LCD display. And uh, just to show you, because I'm working on creating frames um, for uh, throughout the uh, house to put them on the table, so where I can have um, you know these devices can be controlled from. Um, I already got um, working on printing out a 3D printer. Uh, print out the cases for it, so I'm going to play around with it to see if I could get a, a case with a smaller profile printed out and make it look nice. Uh, so hopefully, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm still uh, uh, playing around with the 3D printer, so hopefully I'll have something in the future tutorials for you guys. But for this tutorial, that's it. Uh, and uh, let me know what you think and what you guys like to see in the future tutorials. Um, and until next time, Bye. Thank you very much.